Most users of Notion to Anki already know that you can use closed deletions. But what's not obvious is how do you add hints to them? So if you look here, let's create the card, is Odense, like it says here on the Notion page. So we're creating it manually now. I'll, um, I'll use the shortcut for closed deletions here, which is Shift Command C here. Bam, we have a closed deletion there. If we go and look at it, you can see it's a bracket and three dots. But sometimes you could have a question or a thing where it's not obvious based on just the line. So you would add a hint. So in Anki, you can just edit it and then add columns, right? Like this, and then your hint. And in this case, we will just write country, close. And you can see now, instead of saying dot, 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 it says the country. So how do you do this in Ocean to Anki? Well, we're gonna take a look at that. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alexander. I make free software to help Notion and Anki users all around the world be more successful in their learning journeys. So here on the left-hand side, I have the Notion page and uh, Anki is on the right, as you can see. So we're gonna export this page. It's a very simple page. So if you export it like this, right, and upload it, you're gonna see um, we don't really have any hints. So let me import the file here from the downloads. Import the apkg file into Anki. Let's yeah, I probably, so if you get the zero cards added or zero notes, make sure you haven't enabled cherry mode, which I sometimes do and forget to disable. So if you do, just re-upload again and hit the convert. And then uh, now you should see it created. So again, you can see here, we don't really have any hints. We can edit these manually in Anki, but uh, instead of doing that, let's go back here and then the same way you would do it in Anki, you can here go in after your text. Um, you have to unfortunately position it correctly. So um, you can see um, there might be some confusion. So just go in, go into the code block and then just add uh, colon colon and then uh, your hint. So you can see it's um, messing up the character. So just change that back. If you go too far out, it's gonna go outside of the closed deletion. You want to have this um, text within there. So you can see you have to adjust for the last character, unfortunately. So let me do this one too, so you can see. You see, again, the cursor is going outside. You don't want that. You go here, you add your hint, and then you bring back the, the one character that was removed. And I'm gonna do that for all of these, so you see. So there year and that moved, moved that. So you might have the emoji picker UI come up, but uh, just uh, discard that. And remember it's double, not one colon. There, now it should be correct. So now we're gonna get hints on all of them. I forgot to add one here, so let me do that. Mm, again, make sure you are right before the last character, add your colons, in this case it's city, and then add the last character so the sentence become right. So it's clunky, but uh, this is how you can do it, and let's make sure it works. I'm gonna export this here uh, from uh, Notion, and then um, there, I will be using the date uh, timestamp to figure out which file is the latest. So that's how I keep track, so I just look at the date created. This one was just recently, I click that one. And before I convert this, I actually want to change something. So I'll go to the deck and then uh, with my hints, just to give it a different name so we can distinguish it in the UI. Bam. And then imported it. And you can see it got a new name with my hints. And if we look at this now, you can see it says year there. So the hint is no longer dot, 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 but the, actually the text you wrote. See, city. So again, um, you have to uh, go in here and you can't start editing. You have to edit before the last character, then you can change your hint message. So this does change things you need. But um, I hope this uh, illustrated uh, how you can do it. And um, by the way, uh, we have some really amazing things in the works and I look forward to sharing those with you. Uh, next year. So um, if you want to support the Notion to Anki project, you can uh, check out the link uh, to Patreon in the description and uh, we have different tiers. I really appreciate the support. Thanks a lot. Wish you a happy new year.